one of the uh, New England folk heroes yes. in the history of Red Sox Nation is calling into the show. Well, you missed the you missed the open tagline today. And what was that? Well, you were talking, and so yeah. I was like, hey, remember that time Dave Roberts stole second base when the whole world knew it and, Dave, and Jorge Posada couldn't throw him out? Okay. That was the open of a show. Yeah. Yeah, I just I heard it. I just chose not to, you know, acknowledge it. But you remember that happened, right? The manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers is on the phone line right now. His name is Dave Roberts. His team has 88 wins. There's a number of divisions that have been won with 88 wins by the end of a season. But the Dodgers are are uh, are doing very well. And the uh, manager of the Dodgers, Dave Roberts, joins us from Pittsburgh, where the team won in extra innings last night. How are you, Skip? Hey, guys, what's going on? I'm bummed I missed the Open. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Dave Roberts, on behalf of Red Sox Nation, thank you, my that's friend. That's right. That's right. All right, let's let's start there. Let's start there. Uh, what walk walk me through that 2004 uh, ALCS moment where you you were called on uh, to pinch run, hadn't played in ten days, and got out there in a very intense situation, Dave. Yeah, it, it was it was crazy, and and I think it's one of those things that I, I think in anything you know you prepare for certain moments and. And at that point in time, I remember Lynn Jones and I, uh, he was our first base coach at that time. And and like you said, Rich, 10 days I hadn't played. And I was out there every day during batting practice working on jumps and trying to simulate, you know, stealing a base and watching video. And so, yeah, when you get called upon, when Tito says, if anybody gets on base, you're going to run. And and Kevin had a great at bat, earned a walk. And, you know, you go out there and you've got so much emotion going in there and, You've got uh, the good angel telling you you can do it. This is an opportunity. You got the bad angel on your other shoulder saying, "Don't be Bill Buckner," you know. And, and you know, if you get thrown <laughs> out, you're going to cost the team that uh, you know that the the, uh, chan- uh, the NLCS or ALCS. And and it's just one of those things. Hope, fortunately, good one out. And I had a great jump, and Orhe threw a, a scud down there, but uh, fortunately, I was safe. And the tide kind of turned, and we had a great group of guys. But for, to be a part of that, guys, it was obviously something really special. So uh, you had the green light. Francona gave you the green light on your on your own, or what, what was the actual uh, chain of command right there? So the chain of command was there was going to be a bunt. And, um, and so I, I told Lynn Jones that I'm going to steal second base, and they took the bunt sign off. And that's why a lot of the credit goes to Tito, because for him to kind of – empower me and feel good about me stealing second base and to take the bun sign off uh, was huge. And so Lynn Jones goes, okay, do what you do, kid. They took the bun sign off and he goes, do what you do. And then after three throwovers, steal the base, Bill Miller gets a huge hit instead of uh, giving himself up. And, uh, you know, obviously the rest is history. Yes, it is that. So are you saying that's technically your first managerial move? Was that moment, Dave? <laughs> Technically, I guess so. I, I guess so, and uh, <laughs> I guess Tito gave me some autonomy, which is great. Well, I guess then uh, Dave Roberts, the Dodgers, joining me here on the show. Uh, the next logical question would be, uh, how much of your managerial style is molded by a moment like that, Dave? Uh, you know what? I, I think um, I, I want to say all of it in the sense of. Being uh, traded uh, at the deadline as a starting player um, with the Dodgers at that point in time, then playing for a month while Chad Nixon was, was getting health, healthy, then being relegated to the bench to be a cheerleader and uh, team, good teammate and being ready for an opportunity and preparing. I, I think for me, you know, you look at the Dodgers in 2017 and, and 16. A lot of talent, obviously, but there's a lot of unselfish blue-collar players that we prepare the right way. Um, There's a lot of give as far as playing time, innings, because we have so much talent. And I think the whole body of work has really played itself out to, as you said, Rich, 88 wins to this point. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. Isn't it amazing you can download an app with your thumbprint? You should download our app with your thumbprint. 